In this video, I'm going to talk in more depth about three elements of the electric eel wheel six. Those elements are the bobbins, the bobbin release dial, and the tension system. People have been asking if the bobbins are collapsible on the electric eel wheel six, and this should answer your question. Yes, they are. So that makes traveling with them a little bit easier. You can fit them into a smaller bag if you want to take extra bobbins. And all you have to do is take the bearings and put them into the bobbin discs like that. Then you take the bobbin tube and you screw them into the disc until they're snug. And that's really all there is to assembling the bobbins. There'll be no issues with assembling them and disassembling them multiple times and they definitely can't ever pull apart like that because they're threaded so uh, I'm really happy with this uh, design it's a nice open design and uh, the uh, reinforced nylon that they're made of is like super durable so these guys are um, not going to break if you drop them or something I wanted to talk a little bit about this bobbin release dial. This is something I haven't seen before on any spinning wheels. I wouldn't be surprised if something like this existed though. There was a lot of different uh, things tried, especially with treadle wheels back when they were popular, maybe a hundred years ago or so. So uh, I've seen just, I mean, there's hundreds of different variations and, and people tried a lot of different things back then. So if something like this existed, uh, I'm not surprised by that, but I haven't really seen it on, on modern spinning wheels. The basic principle of it is that you screw it into the back of the spindle on the electric eel wheel six, just like this. And this is optional. You don't need to put this on. In fact, most of the time I don't spin with it, but I did add it. And the way you use it is you sort of tighten it until it's just snug. You don't want to tighten it too much. So what it's basically doing is it's clamping uh, the bobbin here. So if it's if it's really loose like this, the bobbin spins a lot more freely. Oh, not showing it very well, but the but yeah, the bobbin spins a lot more freely than when it's tight, um, tighter like that. If you tighten it too much, the motor actually won't spin the bobbin fast enough. So uh, this is something that you're just going to play around with to get a feel that you like with it. It really serves two purposes. The first is that by sort of clamping the bobbin in, there it eliminates any possibility of vibration in the bobbin back and forth. Now, I haven't seen any of that even without the bobbin release dial, but uh, I do know from previous wheels, just because I don't see something, it doesn't mean it can't happen when hundreds or thousands of the spinning wheels start shipping. So this will be something that eliminates any possibility of sort of any vibration with the bobbin, which since I was really trying to make this a very silent, uh, very, very quiet wheel, then um, that was important to me. The second thing it does is it basically creates more friction on the bobbin. And it's kind of hard to sort of see what that means without seeing it in person. But it basically changes the feel of the spinning wheel. Uh, treadle wheels have a bit more friction on the bobbins just uh, by the nature of their construction, or at least many of them that I've seen have that. Uh, with the electric eel wheel six, I've went with really high precision parts, uh, bearings on all of the rotating surfaces. So that means that things have very low amounts of friction and that kind of gives the wheel a different feel. It's really nice and smooth for uh, thin yarn, uh, but it also works with bulky yarn, but some people like a different feel to their wheel. So if you want to experiment with sort of different feels of your wheel, then this will be included and you can just sort of experiment and sort of find what setting you like to use. I want to talk a little bit about the tension system on the electric eel wheel six. So it's a spring system with a cotton cord and over here there's a dial. Uh, the dial is somewhat similar to what I had on the electric eel wheel five series, but there's some improvements there. The Nano is always just used an elastic cord with slots. And the reason I went with that system on the Nano was to save on price. The uh, tension dial here is definitely a much nicer system if the spinning wheel can afford it. So let me show you. So 
Um, that's basically no tension and you just turn the dial a little bit and you've got some tension there and you turn a little more and you get quite a bit of tension in the system. And how it works is it actually just uh, acts as a brake on the bobbin. So as the uh, flyer spins with yarn attached, without yarn attached, you can sort of see the flyer will spin just on its own. But with yarn attached, the bobbin tends to go at the same speed. But what this brake does is it slows it down. So now the bobbin will rotate slower than the flyer. And this uh, system here gives really good control uh, even as the bobbin fills up. So I'm really happy with the tension system that we've developed on the electric EO wheel six. And I'll um, show you how what's actually inside this dial that gives it a super good feel. Like it's hard to show on the video or maybe impossible, but uh, compared to like the electric eel wheel five where you had to get a screw exactly the right tightness and things are always changing and the, the tension dial, while it worked well, didn't always feel the best. This one just has a, a really good feel in your hands and I want to show you what's inside there uh, that makes this possible. Okay, so now I've unscrewed the uh, screw that's holding this in place and what I want to show you is, oops, Inside this dial is actually this compression screw, or I'm sorry, a compression spring. And what that does is that compresses when you tighten the screw and it gives it a really good consistent feel. So I tried a different, different, a few different compression springs and found one that gave it just the right amount of tension in the dial. And I'm super happy with this design. So that's basically how the tension system works on the electric EO wheel six. I thought I'd give you one last sneak peek of a, a new improvement I'm working on for the electric gear wheel six. When I get the next mold samples, I'll have a final part, but um, these hooks work all wet K and this is actually, they work pretty good. And this is what I showed in the Kickstarter video. And they, and they slide around uh, pretty well on this bar, but I worry that over time they might get a little loose. And also it requires really precise molding so over on this side, there's no hook on this one yet, but this sort of shows the principle. This has a really good feel, much better. It's also not gonna wear out, and the reason is, I will show you, there's actually an O-ring on the back side of this that's sort of held in place, and sort of on these two ends, the O-ring is what is rubbing against this uh, flyer arm, and it, it, I mean, again, it's another thing that's sort of hard to show in a video, but it has a really good feel. So I'm having a new mold made for this kind of a part, and I expect that this will be the type of hook that I include with the final version of the electric EO wheel six. I'll definitely be showing more details when I get um, some final samples with the hooks attached and things, but uh, from what I can tell, this is gonna be a, a really nice improvement on the electric EO wheel six sliding hooks. Thanks for watching.